there, guys and girls and non-binary people. It's Reed here yet again. Now today, people with us, we have the box in the back, right back there. And of course, we also have your favorite ass JW. That's A double S JW or JW. We have Alexa. <laughs> anyway, guys, it looks like it's that time. It's time for yet another excited, insane, super official, thought-provoking, straight-edge food product review from YouTube's only true 365-day-a-year food product reviewer. Today, people, you know, for some reason, Hardee's has decided to get into the coffee business. Maybe it's going to be a good decision. We're about to find out. This is the vanilla iced coffee from Hardee's. Now, I will say this right now, people. It was $2.43 for this right here. And I think that may be a bit overpriced for the iced coffee. What is it, $1.50 at McDonald's? Is it cheaper than that? I'm not sure, but I think $2.43. I don't know if that's expensive or not, people. I've not bought one in so long. I mean, I bought one at... Where was it at? Sonic was one of the worst things we ever had, of course. But here it is, people. We're going to see what this is all about. $2.43, if it's good, it's okay. To me, it seems like McDonald's was cheaper. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But uh, we're going to see what it's all about. They also have the original, but this is the vanilla because I think vanilla is the way to go. It looks beautiful. And it smells good, but we're going to see what it's all about. So, as always, guys, you have to remember, if you have anything you would like, read the box. And, of course, Alexa to review. You're going to have to leave that comment below. Now, if we like it, we're going to pick it out and review your request next. Thumbnail Coffee, America's favorite drug. Alrighty, guys. Now, before we get started, of course, we are in Millersboro, Kentucky today. You know. Uh, we're in a new location. We're trying to hide from the bar, of course. Drug dealer, bully, now road cop. So be careful if you ever come through the place called Millersboro, Kentucky. It's uh, pretty much the end of the world, and the people here pretty much know it, and they accept it. So that's 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 one thing you have to remember about Millersboro. When you come when you come through here and you say that's the end of the world, it's true. People accept it though. So it's just true. But uh, anyway. Let's stick the straw in here. Let's get that friction going. Oh, yeah. Man. I, I can just remember it now, people. That's kind of like that sound I heard when I walked in on the ex-wife. I was like, what is that? And then when I walked in there, people, I saw a big 12-inch BBC just slamming her, plowing through her, just like that. It's like, oh, God. Then, of course, the friction became less and less as he broke her in with a 12 inch bit. Anyway, <clears throat> Alexa, do you like iced coffee? Of course, I especially love Dunkin' Donuts. Wish we had one here. Hmm. Hmm. Not that bad. It's not that bad, people, but it's not on the level of a McDonald's. I hate to compare it to McDonald's, but it's true. Even the Burger King one, I think, is better than this. Now, of course, we don't have Starbucks here to review it, but I don't think. No. No, we don't. Do we? I think we, we don't have Starbucks in Middlesbrough, do we? Alexa. Is there a Starbucks in Middlesboro, Kentucky? I found a Starbucks in Middlesboro. They are? It's 1.2 miles away on North 12th Street in oh, Middlesboro. Oh, that's right. It's open until tonight what? at 10 p.m. It calls it Middlesboro. There is one. That's right. There's one that opened up people in the Food City. That's why I didn't know about it. Because the Food City is like in the middle of nowhere. It's like... It's like behind, way behind buildings and stuff. It's it's odd. If you if you lived here, you'd understand. But uh, this is 
it's like a little bit too watered down, I guess would be the best way to explain it. It has some good, nice, sweet flavor, but it's not premium, really not. And of course, people, one thing you have to remember is this is Hardy's first attempt at making this. And of course, they may make it different in your location because a lot of it depends on the person making the coffee. I've got them before at McDonald's where they're absolutely wonderful. Then I've got them the next day and they're like, what in the world happened? They forgot to mix, mix it right. So it really comes down to who's mixing it. I think that's really the main thing about these uh, iced coffees. And of course, I think Hardy's just started serving this last week, so it's new to their menu, but it's okay, I'll say. It's, it's not horrible. It's a little bit too watered down. It needs a little bit more of the vanilla flavor. They got the coffee flavor down pat. You can taste the coffee very, very easily. Needs a little bit more of the sweet flavor. Needs to be sweet, just like a hot, petite, 25, 30-year-old Asian girl something like that you know something sweet delicious i've got off topic here but you get what i'm saying it needs to be sweet sweeter and of course i may you may come i may come it's too watered down i may come back later on say a month from now and buy another one and it might be the best thing ever but right now as this stands it's too watered down Hmm, it is too watered down. It actually could use a little bit more of the coffee flavor and the sweet flavor, but you can taste the coffee pretty good in it. But uh, it's nothing to write home about, people. It's a good, good start by Hardee's, of course. And I'm looking forward to trying their roast beef sandwich also. So we're going to see how that pans out for tomorrow. So look for the roast beef review tomorrow. But other than that, people, I'll say this is kind of a... Kind of what I expected. I didn't expect it to be that good, and it's not. That made it actually worse when I stirred it up there. So, mm, 2.5 stars for the Hardee's Vanilla Iced Coffee. It's not that good. It's a disappointment. That's pretty much it, guys. You know, um, as I've said, it's not going to replace McDonald's or Starbucks. Nope. This is way better than Sonic's, though. Sonic's was horrible. Um, well, I give Sonic a one, but this is a little bit better than that. It's, it's just too watered down. And that's pretty much all we can say about it. So, Hardee's, hopefully you get it figured out. Uh, they also have, of course, the original. I'm not going to review that one. I'm just not a fan of... Uh, not a fan of straight coffee, I guess you could say, but uh, that's pretty much it. You know, that's the official review, and that's going to do it. So, as always, guys, I want to thank you for watching the show, of course. Me, the Box, and Alexa, we had another great time here today. Uh, like the video, as always. The more likes we get, the more we get out there, and the higher this show will get. As, it, as we go, continue our quest to be the number one food product reviewer, Boy, that would be something. Just imagine one day, people, you could look back and say, I remember when that guy got 1,000 views of video. I remember when he got 500 views of video. Now look at him. He's getting 100,000 views of video or more. Just imagine that. Wouldn't that be something? So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I want to thank you, as always, for watching the show. And we're going to see you guys tomorrow. We're here every day, 365 days a year. Toodles. It's very greasy. Um... Man. That is a... I know it sounds odd saying this, people, but... I think this is the greasiest thing I've ever had in my life. And what's sad about it, people, is it's actually, it's actually pretty good to be all this grease in it. I think I'm gonna sneeze from all the grease. Excuse me. <laughs> Wow. Sorry about that, people, but, uh, you know, we do it uncut. Uncut, unedited, and 100% raw.